glycolysis first word glycolysis what is glycolysis it is the 10 step reaction in which which describes how one glucose molecule gives us energy why we need to study this is because whatever food we take whatever food we eat that food contains glucose or carbohydrates isn't it now how we can get energy from that food so in order to know that we need to study this cycle we need to study this glycolysis it contains two phases and one of them is preparatory phase in which we will invest atp in order to gain atp we have to invest some atp and hence it is said preparatory phase it starts with glucose when glucose molecule enters the cell how it gives energy in order to perform work glucose get converted into glucose 6 phosphate with the help of enzyme hexokinase glucose 6 phosphate means phosphate is added to the sixth carbon of glucose in the presence of enzyme hexokinase and from where it gets the phosphate from atp which is adenosine triphosphate a three phosphate containing molecule gets converted into adp because one phosphate is given to glucose now it becomes two phosphate containing molecule which is adp now glucose 6 phosphate gets converted into fructose 6 phosphate which is the isomer of glucose 6 phosphate this happens in the presence of enzyme isomerase the need of this isomerization is the glucose contains only one side chain which is already filled with the phosphate here but in order to add some more phosphates we need one another side chain so for that side chain we convert glucose 6 phosphate into fructose 6 phosphate because here we can see this is fructose 6 phosphate here we have another side chain the hydroxyl group can be removed and replaced by phosphate now the fructose 6 phosphate gets converted into fructose 1 6 bisphosphate this means to the fructose 6 phosphate again on the first carbon the phosphate is added with the help of enzyme phosphofructokinase, ATP, phosphate is taken from ATP and gets converted into ADP. See, as I have so shown you earlier, here the hydroxyl group is removed and replaced by phosphate. Now, fructose 1 6 bisphosphate gets cleaved and two molecules of uh, dihydroxyl acetone phosphate and disaldehyde 3 phosphate are produced. These two are interconvertible. And this happens in presence of enzyme aldolase. As these both are interconvertible, dihydroxyacetone phosphate gets converted into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. So we get two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. Now let's see the payoff phase in which we can obtain the energy. The two glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate gets converted into 1,3-bisphosphoglyceric acid. This means that phosphate is added on the first carbon dehydrogenase enzyme is used for that and phosphate is added by inorganic phosphate ip in, indicates inorganic phosphate two atoms of hydrogen are removed it is accepted by nad which gets converted into nadh plus h plus after getting two more two atoms of hydrogen now one three base phosphoglyceric acid gets converted into three phosphoglyceric acid so one phosphate is taken isn't it from the first first carbon the phosphate is taken and hence it becomes three phosphoglyceric acid with the help of enzyme phosphoglyceric kinase now two adp as the phosphate is taken it is given to adp two adp becomes two atp here why two because two molecules of glyceraldehyde three phosphate two molecules of one three bisphosphoglyceric acid and hence we will use two molecules of adp to make two molecules of ATP. So, 3 phosphoglyceric acid gets converted into 2 phosphoglyceric acid. What does this mean? This means that from the third carbon, the phosphate is shifted to the second carbon in the presence of enzyme mutase. What is the need of the shifting? Because in order to remove high water, enolase enzyme will remove water. Just because in order to remove water and to convert 2-phosphoglyceric acid into phosphoenolpyruvate, 
the set from the second carbon the phosphate is shifted to the from the third carbon the phosphate is shifted to the second carbon now enolase will convert two phosphoglycic acid to the phosphoenol pyruvate will remove one molecule of water and again the phosphate is removed from phosphoenol pyruvate and it is given to pyruvic and pyruvic acid is formed in presence of enzyme pyruvate kinase adp is converted into atp as you know phosphate is removed from phosphoenol pyruvate adp is converted into atp and this is how the energy is obtained by eating food in which glucose is present thank you